Lugae to veneris cupidinesque, et quant est hominum venustiorum. Passer mortuus est meae puellae, passer deliciae meae puellae, quem plus il oculis suis amabat, nam melitus erat, suamque norat ipsam tam bene quam puella matrem. Nec sesa grem ilius moebat, sed circum siliens moduc, modi luc, ad solam dominusque pipiabat. Qui nunc it per iter tenebricosum iluc unde negant redirequemquam. At uobis male sit male tenebrae orci, Quae omnia bella devoratis. Tam bellum mihi passer abstulistis. O factum male, o misele passer. Tua non copra mea puella e flendo turgiduli rubento kelli. This is my not very poetic translation of the poem. Wail, O Venuses and Cupids, and as many as there are of beautiful people devoted to Venus. The sparrow of my girl is dead. Sparrow, the delight of my girl, whom she loved more than her own eyes. For he was sweet as honey and knew his mistress as well as a girl, her own mother. Nor would he ever move from her lap, but hopping around now here, now there, would chirp continuously to his mistress alone. He now goes down that shadowy path, there whence they say no one returns. But may it go badly for you, wicked shades of Orcus, you who devour all beautiful things. Such a beautiful sparrow you have taken away from me. O evil deed, O poor little sparrow. Because of what you've done, now the puffy eyes of my girl grow red from crying. Lord Byron 1807, at the age of 19. Ye cupids droop each little head, nor let your wings with joy be spread. My lesbia's favorite bird is dead, whom dearer than her eyes she loved, for he was gentle and so true. Obedient to her call he flew, no fear No wild alarm he knew, but lightly o'er her bosom moved. And softly fluttering here and there, he never sought to cleave the air. He chirruped off and free from care, tuned to her ear his grateful strain. Now having passed the gloomy bourne from whence he never can return, his death and Lesbia's grief I mourn, who sighs, alas, but sighs in vain. O oh, cursed be you, devouring grave, whose jaws eternal victims crave, from whom no earthly power can save, for thou hast ta'en the bird away. From thee my Lesbia's eyes o'erflow, her swollen cheeks with weeping glow. Thou art the cause of all her woe, receptacle of life's decay. This poem by Dorothy Parker in 1944 is not a translation, but rather a reply to an imaginary letter from Lesbia. So, Praise the gods, Catullus is away. And let me tend you this advice, my dear. Take any lover that you will or may, 
except a poet. All of them are queer. It's just the same. A quarrel or a kiss is but a tune to play upon his pipe. He's always hymning that or wailing this. Myself, I much prefer the business type. That thing he wrote, the time the sparrow died. Oh, most unpleasant, gloomy, tedious words. I called it sweet and made believe I cried. The stupid fool, I've always hated birds.